Hello friends, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I will show you how to use the Neo 6M GPS module with Arduino. Not just with Arduino, if you follow this cool tutorial, you will also be able to use this GPS module with other microcontrollers like Node MCU, ESP32 or many others. This module usually comes mounted on a small PCB along with an external GPS antenna. You will also see a connector for the antenna and four pins for connecting to a microcontroller. Usually the module does not come with the mail header pins attached. So you will need to solder them yourself. I have already soldered mine. This module operates at five volts, which makes it compatible with Arduino boards directly. If you look closely, you will see a small backup battery and an EEPROM chip on the PCB. The battery and the EEPROM help the module remember the last known GPS location and time, which allows for faster signal locking the next time it's powered on. This GPS module works by receiving signals from GPS satellites that orbits the Earth it calculates your position based on signal received from multiple satellites. I will share a detailed article about this module. You will find the link in the description. Reading that article will give you a deeper understanding of how GPS works. Now let's move on to the wiring. This GPS module has four pins, BCC, ground, TX, and RX. We will connect it to an Arduino Nano using software serial communication. Here are the connections. BCC goes to 5 volt on the Arduino Nano. Ground goes to ground. TX of the GPS module goes to D2 on the Arduino Nano. RX of the GPS module goes to D3 on the Arduino Nano. Again, that's BCC goes to 5 volt. Ground goes to ground. TX of GPS goes to D2 and RX of GPS goes to D3 of Arduino. We are using D2 and D3 for software serial, where D2 acts as RX receiving data from the GPS module and D3 acts as TX sending data to the GPS module. Once the connection are done, plug the Arduino Nano into your computer using a USB cable. You will notice a, a small LED on the GPS module Right now, it might be off or not blinking. Don't worry, this LED does not indicate power. It is only used to show GPS signal status. If the LED is blinking once every second, it means the module is receiving GPS signal from satellites. If it's off or not blinking regularly, it means the module has not yet clocked onto any satellite signal. Right now, I am indoors in my lab, which is fully enclosed. That's why the GPS module is not receiving any signal. To get a GPS fix, you need to place the module near a window or take it outside where it has a clear view of the sky. I will show it later. Now, let's go to the computer screen to see how to program the Arduino Nano to receive the GPS data. All right, friends, before we begin, I highly recommend that you read this full article I have linked in the video description. This article explains in details how the Neo 6M GPS module works, how it receives signal from satellites, how it calculates location data and what kind of information it can provide. The author has described everything very clearly and interestingly, including important specification that every user should know. In that article, you will also find a sample code that we will use in this video. Before using the code, we need to install a library. Open the library manager in the Arduino ID and search for Tiny GPS Plus. You will find a library called Tiny GPS Plus by Michael Hart. If you have not installed it yet, you will see an install button, just click it. In my case, the install button is not visible because I have already installed the library. Once the installation is complete, you are ready to use the code. 
Now I will upload the sample code to our Arduino Nano. In the code, we have defined the Rx and Tx pin as 2 and 3. Since we are using pin 2 of the Arduino Nano as the Rx pin, the Tx pin of the GPS module is connected to pin 2. And we are using pin 3 as the Tx pin. So the Rx pin of the GPS module is connected to pin 3. The code uses two serial interfaces. One is the main serial monitor which communicates between the Arduino and the computer. The second is a software serial interface defined as GPS serial used to communicate be between the GPS module and the Arduino. The second is a software serial interface defined as GPS serial used to communicate between the GPS module and the Arduino. We have declared GPS serial using the software serial library. The new 6M GPS module communicates at a baud rate of 9600. So we set the same rate in the code. Inside the main loop, we call GPS serial.read to check for any incoming data. If data is received, the GPS.encode function process it. Then we will call a custom function named display info to display the gps information let's take a quick look at what display info does inside this function we use several function from the tiny gps plus library for example gps dot location dot is valid function checks whether the location data received from the satellite is valid if valid data is found we extract the latitude and longitude values the GPS module typically gives us two key parameters, latitude and longitude. For example, we have a latitude value like this and a longitude value like this. Using this value, you can easily find your exact location on Google Maps. Here's how to do it. Go to your browser and type https colon double slash www.google.com slash maps question mark q then a equal sign and then paste the latitude value give a comma and then the longitude value so in this example the links look like this paste this link to your browser and you will see the exact location in this case it's a place in india by using your own gps data you will be able to see your current position on google maps the GPS module can also provide several other useful pieces of information such as date and time, altitude, speed, direction, number of satellites connected, horizontal dilution of precision, time stamp of the last received location, etc. Now I will upload the code to my Arduino Nano. Make sure you select the correct board here Arduino Nano and the correct port in the Arduino ID. Then click the upload button. Once the upload is complete, open the serial monitor. Right now, you will see the message location not available. That's because I mentioned earlier, I am recording this video indoors in my lab and there's no window nearby. So the GPS module cannot receive any satellite signal at the moment. I have already uploaded a test program to the Arduino to read GPS data through the serial monitor. But since the module is not getting a signal indoors, nothing is showing up. Now I will take the setup outside or place it near a window so the module can start receiving satellite signals. Once it gets a fix, we will start seeing location data in the serial monitor. So friends, right now I have brought my GPS module and laptop outside to an open area. As you can see, the LED on the GPS module is blinking once every second. This means that the module is successfully connected to satellites and is now able to update my location. If I move the camera slightly towards the laptop screen, I am keeping it blurred intentionally. You can see that latitude and longitude data is being displayed. I have blurred the screen because I don't want to reveal my exact location, but I can confirm that the data is showing correctly. Now, if 
we take the latitude and longitude values and enter them into google maps it will show our exact location and believe me it shows the exact place i am standing at 100 percent accurate the more satellites you gps module can connect to the more accurate your location data will be so i hope that if you place your gps module outside or near a window you will be able to get your own live location data just like this so friends i hope you now understand how to use the neo 6m gps module with arduino nano if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video